Hello friends, welcome to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm showing you how to make this delicious smothered chicken and gravy recipe. I've made this recipe different ways on the channel. It's one of my favorites. It's so good and the perfect comforting dish for fall and winter. Let's get started. To make this recipe, we're using bone-in skin-on chicken thighs. Make sure you clean your chicken, then trim off all the excess fat. Right next to the chicken, I have some all-purpose flour in a bowl. We're going to start by seasoning the flour in the chicken. These are the spices for seasoning. I'm using garlic and onion powder, oregano, paprika, chili powder, cayenne pepper, salt, and black pepper. I'm going to leave all the ingredients and measurements in the description box. I'm mixing all the spices together very well. Then I'm going to pour a little over a quarter of the spices into the flour. And the rest of the spices is for seasoning the chicken. We're going to be coating the chicken in the flour, so you want to make sure you season it well. Next, I'm going to use the rest of the spices to season the chicken on both sides. Once the chicken is very well seasoned, it's time to start coating them in the flour mixture. So just grab a chicken, coat on both sides, shake off the excess flour, then place it on a separate plate. Then you're going to repeat the process for the rest of your chicken. Once all the chicken is coated, we're going to start cooking them. And make sure you keep any leftover seasoned flour. We're going to use a little bit of that later in the recipe. I've gone ahead and heated my cast iron pan over medium heat. I'm pouring in some olive oil. Once the oil gets very hot and smoky, I'm going to add in the chicken skin side down. In order not to overcrowd the pan, make sure you fry the chicken in two batches. I'm going to let the chicken fry on this side for three to four minutes. Afterwards, I'm going to turn them over and let them fry on the other side for three to four minutes. We're looking for a golden brown crust on both sides of the chicken. That's going to add so much flavor to the recipe. Once you've achieved that, take the chicken out of the pan and set them aside for later. Keep in mind that the chicken at this point is not fully cooked yet. Next, we're going to make a delicious gravy for the chicken and all these brown bits in the pan will add so much flavor. I'm going to mince up an onion for the gravy, so I'm going to grab my knife. These beautiful knife sets were sent to me by Lux Homewares to use in today's video. I've used them for a while, they're very sharp and elegant looking. I think they'll make a great Christmas present, so I'm going to leave a purchasing link in the description box if you guys are interested. I'm cutting up the onion with the chef knife from the Lux Homeware knife set. I'm tossing the minced onion into the pan. Then I'm going to saute it for about a minute to release its flavor. Next, I went ahead and minced some garlic cloves. I'm going to toss those right in. Then I'm adding some butter. We're going to cook for about 30 seconds until the butter has completely melted and the garlic has released its flavor. Next, you're going to grab the leftover seasoned flour from earlier and add a couple of tablespoons into the pan. Then we're going to whisk in the flour and let it cook for about a minute. We just want to cook out that raw flour taste. Next, I'm going to add some chicken broth. Whisk that in, then let the sauce cook for about two minutes to thicken, just like this. Once the sauce has thickened, we're going to whisk in some heavy whipping cream. Continue whisking until the cream has incorporated with the sauce, then add in some chicken beyond cube, red pepper flakes, and some dried basil. Go ahead and mix everything together, then you're going to taste for salt and pepper and add more as needed. I'm going to mix everything together, then it's time to add the chicken. I'm using a spoon to scoop the gravy onto the chicken. Make sure the chicken is completely submerged in the gravy. Next, we're going to cover the pan. Make sure your oven is preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Take the pan off the heat, place it into the oven, and bake the chicken for one hour. Finally, the chicken has finished baking. It's so bubbling hot and it smells really, really good. We're going to sauce it up and you have to let this sit for at least 10 minutes before digging in. Okay guys? 
You can serve this delicious chicken over mashed potatoes, rice, or even egg noodles. The chicken came out so tender and soft, it falls right off the bone. I can't even pick it up. Look at that. This recipe is very comforting. It's perfect for this time of the year. If you guys would like the ingredients and measurements, check the description box. I have everything there.